was a popular one today on Reddit. And this question is, what was the worst meal you've ever paid for? The worst meal I've ever paid for? That's a good question. Like, knowing that it was going to be bad? or no, just like after... Because, I mean, I've had hospital food. Yeah. And that's never great. Yeah, but you kind of... See you later. Thank you. And you kind of like pigeonholed and eating yeah. hospital food at certain times. Yeah. So that that was probably that's bad. But let's see. Is this the worst though? Like, yeah, everybody knows hospital food is like the best. But you go and you pay fifteen bucks and you walk out and you're like, <clears throat> that was way too salty. But it is what it is. That's what yeah. I'm saying. But like, like my answer, like I went to a. Some restaurant in, in the Nozarks for like a combined bachelor bachelorette party, and we had like this whole private room that they put out like on us on the for us on the lake, and since we had a big party, they showed like the menu. They were, we all went there like with this idea like this is the menu, but when we got there, since it was like this special event and like this certain room. There was only a certain menu we so could order off of, yeah. and it was every not like <laughs> not, nothing was under a hundred bucks, and everybody oh, was geez. just like, "What? We can? <laughs> I mean, what is this? I mean, we, we didn't sign up for this." And then they were like, "Well, that's what the room is." And like, you did sign up for it. I'm like, did they tell you? Know, you could only order off. You know, like there was like five dinner options. Did yeah. they tell you this before when you like? It was like the, the chef. I don't know. I didn't book it. Oh, okay. I was like the. It was just there. But then everybody was like, all right, like, nothing was less than 100 bucks. And then at, at, then at the end, they were like, yeah, we don't split up checks either. And oh, they shit. also, <laughs> and they also, <laughs> since they, this keeps going. Yeah. they put us in this, it, it really wasn't meant for 20 people either. So, like, they were like, everybody had, like, their, it was like a five-course meal, essentially. And they were bringing soups out, and I'm pretty sure... On the, the bride, especially, they spilled soup all over the back. She's wearing, like, this super nice dress and stuff. And they got it on, like, other people, too, that were at the table. So it was just a horrible experience for most people. Was the food good, though? Not, Not anything for their special, price. no. And it was, like, a, we were there for, like, two and a half hours. Like, it was, like, it was everything had to, yeah. I mean, it was just, like. It's not all weird. I mean, yeah, but one is 40 minutes between soups that they spilled on half the people, and then your entree, it's like... That does sound terrible. Your whole uh, experience. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awful. Your experience yeah. sounds terrible. That sounds pretty rough. So, yeah, yeah. that's my I, worst meal. I don't have anything as bad as that. I don't think I do either. I mean, I no. did I did just pay, or my you know, family paid $100 worth of, like, Applebee's car side to go, and that was not... Cause by t one, well, they kept getting the order wrong. How many of you was that for? The four of you? And Margo, she's not going to eat well, it. And, well, and then Holly's sister. So, so five? yeah, five, yeah. Five. So, which they both got steaks, and then... Oh, well, there's a problem. And, then, and then we yes. got... Yeah, so... But it was yeah. like $100, and I was like, we could have just went there and ate. Probably got our order right the first time, and it would have been fresh and better. But they want, you know, we did car side to go, and learn not to do that again. That's the problem with like to go orders. That's what we mm -hmm. like when during COVID and all of that, when we couldn't eat inside. That's what we figured out. Yeah. Like you never realize like it was not really meant to travel. It's mm -hmm. hot and cooked. Yeah. And then they put it like in the plastic. And how it's sealed sometimes. Yeah. And, like steam and itself just, you're just going... steaming food. So like yeah. yeah. And I just don't feel like they're designed. Like they don't have like the I don't know. They're just like places like that are just not meant for to go no. orders. I think if you they're... get French fries, it's terrible. Yeah, because yeah. they were crispy, but now they're any, like half yeah, of them any. Home, that's when they're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can find though the Texas Roadhouse probably the, the was the best. Mexican food was horrible to go. Mm -hmm. As soon as they put it in that <laughs> yeah. metal container, yeah, with the paper lid mm -hmm. and yeah. the seal. It's See, just, and I disagree. I think Mexican's not that bad. Really, I, I would it, say though. I think to go. I think Chinese travels really well. Yeah, Chinese like, is we get, of like we get Chinese it? to go a lot, and yeah, because it's, it's like of, as good at home as it would be. It's already like mm -hmm. usually steamed, yeah, like, that, anyway. So yeah, I guess yeah. it's not. Well, yeah, something about when they put it in that brown paper bag and then they staple it shut <laughs> to keep the 
you know, the steam inside. It's almost right, like the bag just, in a bag, right? Yeah. Some places, like I feel like that helps for like, paper inside, I think, yeah, right? Applebee's was just like a bunch of schnooks bags that they throw it in and then just there you go. <laughs> yeah. not meant to be steamed. <laughs> So if you had crispy food, it's now being steamed, which is just gonna make it yeah, soggy. Yeah, that, that's the first thing. Like Holly ended up putting my fries in the air fryer because they were already mm -hmm. like, I mean, they were bad. But, I'm not sure I've ever had food that was besides obviously hospital food, but I don't think it's ever been terrible. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anything unedible. I don't know. Hospital? What was? Oh, I'm sorry. No. I like most food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do too. I I do have a bone to pick with Panera though. It's not the same as it used to be. It's it's gone way up in price and the portions are way smaller than they used to be. That's why I don't like it. They also don't have any good food. <laughs> it's hospital food. They don't have good food yeah. and what they do have is wildly overpriced. Yeah. And it's always crowded, so mm -hmm. it's lots of things I'm against. <laughs> I don't well, know why people like that place either. Well, I don't understand. Like you, like you just said, it's always crowded. It's crowded. What's like, wrong with people? I'll go to McAllister's and we'll look over at Panera. That's you know just across the road. And it's like, why? Why are people picking that place? Yeah, yeah. I know they got the bakery and the coffee and stuff that McAllister's doesn't, but mm -hmm. oh, just yeah. like to, at That's one o'clock, <laughs> you know, eating lunch. Yeah, and their cookies are not that good either. Every time we go, I get I look have to get a cookie because I'm like that's probably the only thing I'm going to like. Their on. bagels are superior though. Is there, I haven't had a bagel in a while. I mean, yeah, but it's just a bagel. <laughs> and then you get them bread slashed, which is the same as thing. Yeah, I had their coffee once. I was not impressed by their coffee. But you don't really, I don't, Panera's not known, coffee. it's not known for their coffee. They're not really like, like the charged lemonade that they got. That's oh, killed like three people. people. Three people. That, that went viral like last year. I'm surprised it took this just long for something. I heard there was another again. person or two yeah. recently that yeah, like they were they're and aren't, crediting aren't, that one. Aren't yeah. they like deflecting blame though? Back to them, they're just like, well, what is what is the caffeine content in that versus lots of things like a Mountain Dew, for example? Like, what did they say? It was something like a, a drink like that size. It was like 250 milligrams of caffeine or something. Oh, that's a lot. I don't even know if it was 250. It was like, yeah. it was, it was like 200, 150, mm. which... Isn't a cup of coffee like 200 typically? I think a cup of coffee was like 40. I think I thought coffee was I way, was was way less, less than energy drinks. I want to drinks. check this because I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's relevant. I, you know, like, yeah. It'll affect a lot of people differently, but like I can handle a, you know, a 200, 300 mm -hmm. energy, or th milligram energy drink. Yeah. But for somebody that like, doesn't drink caffeine or something, and it's then they say they drink two of those, so which it, have... Yeah, an eight-ounce cup of coffee, typically about a hundred. Okay. So that's, you know, that size-ish. This is an eight ounces. Yeah. I, I heard... That's not 16 ounces. I mean, a can of soda is 12. I think you can put a can and a fourth inside of there. What's the... Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah. That's pretty so. wide. It's yeah. a lot. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then going higher, yeah. So if that was know, about 16, so that would be about 200. So I don't know, comparable to coffee though. Everywhere, I, no, I think it was double. I think the the charged lemonade. It was something well, ridiculous. Check that too. She was talking <laughs> about it, and she was like, "I had no idea." She's like, "Why am I getting like so amped up? Like I feel great in this Panera." Feel and then she's like, great. "I read it." And she's like, "There's like 150. I don't remember Let's 200 see. milligrams." And then the New she's York like, Times, "I had five of them." The New York Times says that a 20 ounce serving, so like a typical soda bottle type size. Has 260 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot. <laughs> How much? 260 milligrams. In 20 ounces? In 20 ounces. So I think per ounce, less than coffee, right? That was 100 per 8 ounce. So that one, that's up to 200 per 20. So yeah, it's similar to coffee. Yeah. But you drink like, you go somewhere, you drink like three of those on refills, you don't realize. I wonder if you drink them faster too, if that has something to do with it. So say you drink like three of those and don't realize that that'd be 700, mm. push 800 grams of In 20 minutes, of caffeine. in half hour maybe? Yeah. yeah, not too long ago I made the mistake. I said being a problem. Like yeah. <laughs> I had a 200 milligram energy drink at like like this time and then I was still kind of feeling like eh after work. So I was like, I, I had something to do that night. So I drank a 300 on top of it. So I had like the 500. And I was like, I made a mistake. I like within, <laughs> yeah. within thirty minutes, I was like sitting. There. I'd like sit down, like like I was doing like breathing exercises on my couch. Like it was pretty bad. Like mm -hmm. somebody that doesn't drink it, and they had even more than that. I can totally. Do you guys know how caffeine works? It's fascinating. No, no. Mm -hmm. 
So it, it doesn't actually oh, give you yeah, energy. Exactly, it yes. takes away your tire, which is, which is an interesting distinction. But there's a, so from the, the moment you wake up in the morning, your body produces adenosol, which makes your body feel tired, like, oh, I gotta go to bed tonight because I'm tired kind of thing. And caffeine chemical structure is similar to that. So it blocks your body from, like, it blocks the tired sensation in your body kind of thing, mm -hmm. which is interesting because it's not really giving you energy, but it makes you wonder if you took away all the tired, how would your body react? <laughs> With that, like, the guardrails of, you know, I have to go to bed eventually. See you later. See you. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's, it is kind of interesting. I'm... I, yeah. yeah, it's okay. It's a relevant fun fact. I don't drink. I do drink soda, but I don't drink a lot of energy drinks. And uh, my wife, or Holly, she always tries to get me to drink them, and I'm like, I'm not trying to put a hole in my heart. So, <laughs> I did joking. for a while, but <laughs> you're not supposed. I mean, so many things we do, we're not supposed yeah, to. I just, I think it's like problem if you're doing like, you know, if it's like if you're used, using it as like a meal supplement, and that's like all you're yeah. doing is just drinking energy drink. Because I used to work with a guy that did that, and I think he's still alive today. Four but... cigarettes and energy drinks. <laughs> yeah. Slim That's a common trio. Yeah. I love Slim Jims. You go to the gas station, they're expensive for what you get. So you gotta find like the 99 cent, like off brand, like thicker ones. Are they as good? Yeah. The Jack yeah. Links. Those are good. That's like a name brand too, though, isn't it? They, they, I, don't, I haven't seen I those ones know. in years. Really? I don't know. I, I don't know what talking about. The, gas but the, the, anymore. the different brand ones, not like the they're like... Jack Link ones. I always taste just as good and always a little bit cheaper. So mm -hmm. they're like this long. Yeah. Um my uh you guys know you know what you know what Prime is for sure. Mm -hmm. You know Logan Paul or is it both Paul brothers? Do they both have Logan. It's just Logan is energy drink. I tried to buy that for I didn't try to buy it. I tried to just get the sports drink, like the non caffeine. The mm -hmm. Yeah, the hydration one or whatever. And I was inside the GNC and the owner, he was just like, Whatever you do, do not get your son the energy drink one because then that's that he says that has way too much. I don't know what compared to a charge lemonade from Panera. The is. primes are two hundred milligrams as well. What's well, the difference of drinking like an energy drink or coffee all day though? Like the amount. People that drink six cups of coffee a day, they don't usually drink it in the same amount of time that I drink my. Yeah, that's You're true. You're not drinking it in twenty minutes or spreading right. it out throughout the day. Because sure. when I drink coffee, I do it very slowly, and and I think. And sometimes I don't even finish it, but I think it does. It it has to make a difference for how fast you drink it and how much. Oh, sure. And how. You know. And also, there's something too with kind of also what your body's accustomed to, like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's I'm sure it's not the whole story, but for someone that's never had caffeine, mm -hmm. for someone that's sort of like a cup a day, then like now there's like four cups a day coffee. Yeah. Your body does, I think, acclimate What's somewhat to these things. Mm -hmm. What do I think a charged lemonade is? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's right. Like, it's, it's, literally in the, it's literally in the name. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's they thought they charged it when they paid for it. I get it. It's, man, that's <laughs> just ignorance. I, yeah. yeah so well. All right. Does anybody else have any terrible that meals that they paid for? He's at hospital, but. Yeah, but I, mean... I watched you. Yell at some poor eighteen-year-old dairy queen. Yeah, but that was time. it. I, yeah. That wasn't just the the worker. That was like the entire store, and I don't think that was the meal. That was just because like we went through the drive-through. You know, you go through and you order, and you go up there, and then we pay, and you're and we're just sitting there <laughs> for an exceptionally long time. Mm, yeah, and you could see them, but they're just doing their thing from the back. Like, I'm like, okay, we've been here too long. I'm going inside. I remember it just, it, I, I don't there, think it was under 30 minutes. Mm. No, it, it was, was like, like it, it wasn't like it was like a four right. minute. Like, I'm a pretty patient person, so mm -hmm. I'll wait there. Probably, probably, I probably waited way, way too long. And you already paid? Yeah, and oh. then you can see them, and they're back there just like eating ice cream, hanging out. And I'm like, I went in. Mm -hmm. I was furious because, like, the kids were young. Yeah. Old enough to remember, but relatively young. And mm -hmm. seriously, who, who wants to send a drive through for that long? Yeah. I don't blame yeah. you there. But I mean, the, mm -hmm. that was just like, I guess, the experience of it all. Well, mind. But more actually, about the experience yeah. than the food, too. So. Yeah. I, I would say, hands down, you have the worst experience. Yeah, they really wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, from my end, because I just Venmoed somebody and watched it happen. So. Who paid for that? Yeah. 
if you had to put it all on one I think tag. it was like her sister or something. <laughs> and then she like she was like being that person like she was like didn't stop talking about the whole the whole night about how she was the one that paid for it. And we were like, we all Venmoed you, but like, right. it's not like you paid for this. Turn around and add that back to your card. Or turn around and pay your credit card or whatever yeah. you had to do. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, thank you. Like, you're the one that put your credit card up first. <laughs> yes. Appreciate that. When I think of fancy, expensive restaurants, I just automatically think that the food's not going to be any good. Really? Really? Yeah. I, I used to think that. I've that's been, just my association. Slowly changing size. That's how I associate, because most of them I go to, the food is just underwhelming. And, I'm, and every time I'm like, this was too much, I could have been happier somewhere cheaper. It's It, it happens. I'll, I mean, I, mean, I, I get it. I that's, used to feel that way a lot, and mm -hmm. then now once in a while will be at like a fancier place, and it's kind of it's kind of grown on me. Yeah, I th I think what the part I used to really really struggle with is I would think, well, it costs twice as much; it should be at least twice as much food or twice as good. <laughs> and then I had to let go of that expectation. Yeah, <laughs> when I let go of that, it was easier to enjoy it. It's probably mm. you just you're okay with lesser like amount. Yeah. yeah, I just well, think, don't want to leave hungry. I just feel like what they're really charging you for is the atmosphere. And yeah, like, that's uh, a lot of times. Yeah. And like, okay, and like the service is usually great. And sometimes the service is way better. Too. And the yeah. service is great and stuff like that. But like, when it actually comes down to like the actual like the food, it's usually subpar. It's in my experience, has been subpar. But gone to our restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet just different, Maybe. like different than what you're accustomed to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, does anybody else have any terrible meals? Anything worse than Josh? That's about it. No. I don't think I do. All right, that's all we got.